to the water crisis in Flint. Governor Rick Snyder still taking criticism for not stepping in soon enough. And you know, many people say the governor is to blame for this crisis, but today, Governor Snyder went to Flint with ideas on how to help both short term and long term. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner has been covering this from the very start, and he joins us live from Flint with the latest. Jim. One of the things the governor has not done up to today is make sure free bottled water was available for Flint residents here at fire stations. Everybody else in town also ran out of water. The sheriff here in Genesee County was the only game in town delivering water door to door. You can see people arriving here for this much needed water. And this is after the governor made his emergency declaration last week. I think you're going to find the fire stations hopefully do have water and filters. We started ramping up again this whole process in terms of providing resources to people. We had been doing that for months, but we need to do more. Take a look. Flint fire stations now handing out what's been desperately needed but absent free bottled water. Since last week, door to door deliveries have been made by Genesee County Sheriff using his staff and even jail inmates on work release and community service. We've been to homes like Saturday and one today where the windows, there's holes in the windows and there's little like young children and they've got like a little blanket around them. And uh, you know, it's these people, it's, many of them have fallen on hard times. At the governor's event today, not just officials with another new committee, but a promise of boots on the ground. There will be an additional group of personnel out there. I think we bumped it up to 48 personnel. It was the governor's emergency manager who decided to switch Flint from Detroit water and use Flint River water back in April of 2014 to save money. The river was more corrosive, not properly treated, and caused lead to leach into water from pipes and solder connections. Flint's new mayor was elected late last year over the water crisis. She was asked why she hasn't been more critical of the governor. Now, I don't know if you want to say it's cozy or not. I don't think those are the words to describe it, but my priority is the citizens of Flint. I can stand up here and fight with him, or I can try to get the people out there what they need. Two other things are also critically missing here. They were supposed to have home test kits to test for lead in the water. They're not here, and also filters for people to use in their homes. Those are also not here. They reiterated today that even though they switched back to Detroit water in October, the water here in Flint is still not safe to drink. And how many people are confirmed with lead poisoning? That number is 43. The doctor here in Flint who did the testing back in October and really exposed this crisis, she says that number from state officials is still misleading. We're going to have her reaction coming up next hour at 6. For now, I'm live in Flint, Jim Kirstner. 7 Action News. Sounds like still a mess and a lot to work out. Thank you much, Jim. Now